then on the other hand, there is another legal battle going on where companies like Midjourney is being sued by Getty Images and Adobe Stock, these companies, for stealing their images. So that is a different legal battle. These two are separate. So some yeah. sometimes we uh, confuse them. So let's talk about the other one. The company that came up with the stable diffusion, uh, they took the images from the internet and they trained the models on whatever they could find. And uh, the, there are articles, there are research papers now that sometimes the these models spits out images, generates images uh, that has something that looks like Getty, <laughs> which is uh, absolutely <laughs> funny. Uh, and they 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 caught red they, they were caught red handed there. And they're saying that, well, and they had to sort of fine tune their legal argument according to that. And now they're saying that, so even though we use the images, the images that are being generated, it's not taking the actual image and spitting it out. We have this idea called latent space where we are storing everything in a matrix format mm -hmm. in whatever dimension. And then we use a decoder model to make the final image. So the, we are breaking down the image into this uh, space called latent space. So the final output, even though it looks like the original one, it's actually not the original one, even though they look very similar. So that's their legal argument. What do you think about that? Talk about flawed. The very act of scraping violates copyright rules if it's done without permission. Latent space is a nice excuse, but you wouldn't get the data without taking in the image in the first place. It just is common sense. And without permission, this is called a derivative work. So that latent space argument misses the point. In fact, they've had to settle with Getty Images because nobody would recognize that. If you take content without permission, you're violating what copyright protects and you're acting like it's all okay, and you have permission? Really? Time to ring the bell for scarcity. LLMs will have some data, but not others, and don't think this won't impact the cost. It's cheap because it's free, but even there, the value isn't there yet. Look at what Reddit's doing to in reaction to all these lawsuits and realizing, why are we letting them scrape our data for free? And now, we won't have access it except for certain LLMs like Google.